Howdy folks! So this is kind of an impromptu video. Uh, I just saw on BigClive.com's channel, he did a teardown of this. This is a violet wand. And uh, this is one of those kind of kooky medical devices that's supposed to, you know, improve your skin beauty by zapping it with a few thousand volts. You can uh, stick an electrode in here, it's, full of, it's made of glass with some sort of inert gas in it so it glows pretty so it looks like it's working. Um, these are also used as uh, fetish devices as well. And anyway, he, he bought one off eBay for really cheap, took it apart, reverse engineered it, and it just so happens that uh, I also have one of these. Um, it doesn't, it looks very similar, but it's not the same. It looks like it's probably one of those things that, you know, the Chinese have copied from copies, um, and this is a different version. And I wanted to do sort of like a video response um, I just wanted to look at the differences between mine and his. Also the fact that mine is North American, it runs at 120 volts, and it has a ground plug, unlike his which ran 220 and did not have a ground plug. So I want to see if there's anything different electrically inside of it. So um, if you're not subscribed to BigClive.com, do that right now. He does amazing teardowns and reverse engineering of stuff. Um, so anyway, I just took the screw out of this, and it's actually quite easy to get these things apart. That's why I was so... Uh, so keen on doing this so quickly. So it looks exactly the same. The transformer is, I mean, it looks identical, although this one's white instead of uh, his, which was green, I believe, and my, my whole unit's black and his was white. Um, so I reverse engineered it and I drew the schematic um, just like he did his um, to try and uh, show you the similarities. And it is indeed uh, the same the same circuit topology, but some of the values are different. Um, so instead of the 220, we've got the uh, the 120 volt mains here. There's a 220k ohm uh, bleed resistor here. Um, the caps are 2.2 2 microfarads, uh, 400 volts, exactly the same, one on each side. Uh, the coil is basically unmeasurable, it's basically dead short. Uh, the diodes for the um, rectification here are uh, 2 and 4007s back to back just like his where the differences arise uh, this is the uh, divider circuit now he I believe had 20k and 220k in parallel with a 100k uh, variable which is the uh, the knob on the end here so the North American version at least the one that I have uh, they're much much smaller values 2k and 36k um, a lot smaller than I would have expected. Um, the 100K, however, is the same. The um, thyristor here, almost forgot what that was called, uh, is not the same at all. This is a TYN412, uh, which I believe is made by ST Microelectronics. However, I don't see any markings on my device uh, that tell me that that's really a genuine part. Uh, I mean, I mean, it says ST on it. Uh, I'm not sure if that is genuine or not. Um, who knows? This I actually bought off Amazon for probably far too much money um, compared to how much he paid for his. Uh, but anyway, that's not the same. And this component value here is right here. I, I had a mind fart. I can't remember what that thing's called. Uh, but that's the component here. And uh, it's a DIAC, I believe. Yeah, that's a DIAC. That's a C531. So, interesting, um, I mean, uh, it, it looks basically the same. Uh, what's kind of disappointing is even though it has a grounded plug, it makes you think, ooh, it's safe. No, no, it's not safe, because if you can see right here, the cable gland, the ground is just cut off, just sheared off right there, and there's only two wires in under the circuit, so that ground does absolutely nothing, um, which is unfortunate. Some of the solder joints on this are actually really dodgy, uh, like that one right there. I mean, that's that's kind of horrible. I mean, it's all hand soldered, but geez, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't use something like this anyway. But that's I bought this because I wanted to take, I wanted to get the, I wanted to use it as a high voltage generator, um, and it's it's not that bad, not not as bad from from the video at least. It looks like his the 220 uh, volt version seems to produce bigger arcs. This thing does not produce big arcs at all. I mean, if I try to draw an arc from this, I think I can, 
doing a little distance calculation, I, I think this thing's no more than 9 kV at maximum under like the best case scenario with a pointed tip and everything. So, I don't know. Just thought I'd, uh, this is kind of a random video, but I just thought I'd uh, put that out there to show the differences uh, between the North American and the European version of this product. And uh, yeah, I, I would probably not trust this, uh, you know, connected to my body. It's great for experiments and things. It's, for, you know, it's cheap. But uh, yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go zapping people with this. That's a little dangerous. So anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully that was uh, helpful for someone. Thanks for watching.